Gagoo! 4v4. Warcraft 3. RT. Deadlock. Yeah, I feel like a Mountain King this game. I feel like trying to get level 6 Mountain King. Power level him. And uh, Mass Militia will help me to basically creep everything. Depends what my allies want to do. I guess if they want to do rush, then um, mass rush, me mass mortars, doesn't make sense. You can't really do rush with mortars, but fair enough. Um, yeah, I want to fast expand. And I think I can get away with it with just militia, but I'm going to need a lot of them. And it's kind of like, mm, maybe I should just build footmen anyway, because you still have the spare gold for it, and you're just going to have gold extra from the mine, but it's kind of like I want to see if I can just do it and get away with it. So, I deliberately give it myself a lot of times just to try and test out something. Which is fair enough. I mean, you're here to play the game. You're not here to play it religiously. I mean, it's not like a pro series or anything like that. Just to have fun with it and uh, see what I can get away with. So, Mountain King, where are you going to go first? I guess here will do nicely. I'm not saying anything. There we go. Orange said no. So I guess no rush. Job done. So I'm going to take my expansion here and I'll let these two at the bottom argue work. over their expansion spots. Because I'm human, I need one. And he's on the outside, so if he is going to expand, it's going to be here. So being somewhat considerate to him, he can have this. And if he doesn't want it, then I'll have it as well. Oh, oh actually, I need a yeah, tower. I don't think anyone's going to come into my base in this position, but it's still possible. Yes, me lord. What? That's a good place for wood. Oh, work. Ready to work. All right. All right, who wants some? What is it? Hmm? Try to get your militia to come out and coincide with a. I might be able to get the expansion straight off. I wonder. I've got a lot. I'm actually going to try it. It's a little bit risky, but I think I can pull it off. Probably a lot better to wait for. Night time to be honest with you, but heck, let's try it. What is it? Ready to see if I can do this. Gotta go fast though, to be honest. Because uh, these militia aren't gonna last forever. Just gonna take the media ones out of the way since I can easily surround them to be honest. Get some DPS going off on them. Mountain King's taking the majority of the damage anyway, so that's pretty good. Might take out the little ones actually. I'm not worried so much about the big one because uh, my Mountain King can probably tank off the big one for the rest of the day. So that looks really easy actually. It's starting to turn into the peons, so now it's gonna get tricky. Keep an eye on that Mountain King. Is he gonna take any real damage? Pull him back now. They're not going to actually attack anything else other than the Mountain King though, that's the problem. So unless I start building, that will provoke him into attacking, uh, building, attacking Mountain King rather. Got to be real careful because that Mountain King could get killed very easily. <laughs> uh, one more Stormbolt would do lovely. Hey, you actually are attacking my peons, I'm surprised. Mountain King's back in the action, so they're going to automatically attack him. Look at that. That's scary. Take him off. There we go. Oh, they're left. Why is one of them left? There we go, I have five peons left to take on them. The expansion that was a bit Brilliant. tricky but doable. Got so Won't much wood as well ready. So tech is going to go off in a moment. Could have probably teched a bit a while ago, but I was concentrating pretty heavily. Doesn't look like Blue's having such a good time. I think he'll be easily able to do it. The rest of it, but he's lost a fair bit. So Night Elf just moonwelling it up and probably going to tech in a minute. After his expansion, he 
you should do at least. Another knight off down here. Got the ancient protector at the bottom, not really necessary. He's got another ancient protector, he's one of those. Is he getting another one as well? Getting a bit carried away on the ancient protectors. Let's get some sheep. I'm not going to be shy for wood, which is nice, because I'm not sure actually what I'm taking up to. I didn't actually think that far. All I know is, is I wanted that expansion, and I wanted it fast. One of the powerful Mountain Kings, so Mountain King really complements um, Griffins, and I'm in the top left right position, so I'm well within my uh, reach here of actually going for Griffins quite comfortably. I'll suggest it to Blue. I'll take it if he doesn't want it, but he should take it really, so we all have one each. He's using up oranges, Moonwells, cheeky son. I'll just use like these sheep. I was going to get closer to the enemy before using them, but it turns out they're pigs, but never mind. My little ninja scouts. Brilliant! <laughs> Wake up. I don't know what Blue's doing. I think I'm probably safe to take this expansion spot because he's he's not really there. At least it seems that way. Don't need it. I'm doing well alright at the moment. But I'll take it anyway. Since I don't like expansion spots just to go empty, someone may as well take it. If the person's not going to talk or respond to you, then just feel free to take it, to be quite honest. I mean, obviously keep an eye out if any peons are going towards it, but they clearly aim. So, it's up for grabs in my opinion. And there's a good time to buy some shizzle from the shop. I'm going to get that pair of vitality that someone mentioned a while ago, whether it's good or not. don't know how... I mean, it's... it's, it's generally, you don't... You have too many items anyway in your hero, but at the moment I currently don't, so I think I can get away with it. It's pretty beastly for Man King, actually. Oh, I wanted to get that water elemental as well. I'll just take on the Archmage. Probably not. I'm pretty sure I should get back here. This doesn't look like it's going to favor me. I need like 10 more mana to take on the Archmage. So, no. I need a level 3 bolt as well, that would have made a world of difference. Demon Hunter, much like uh, just AFK in his base by the looks of it. Bit of a slow one this game. Ooh. Some free kills here, if uh, no one responds to it. Immediately, which hopefully they don't. I don't see anyone coming. Oh, I'm gonna stop it as well. This town hall. Am I gonna kill him? I think so. Oh, he's gonna be close. I'm not gonna do it. He's cancelled it. No, he hasn't cancelled it, but he's deliberately not built it because I think he deliberately did that so that he could still cancel it, but. Mm, that didn't make sense. Brilliant. I kind of have to wait for a bolt here because I I want to use my item. There we go. I'm if I try through. and take out the footman and then TP away. You can't bolt again probably for another... Well, you can't bolt because of the mana. But you've got to take that into account. Don't blow it straight away. Map hack! I know, I'm just playing weird. Not really map hacking. I think it's quite clear that I'm not map hacking here. Right. Oh, 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 I needed more griffins. Still needed more wood after all of that. Got like so much gold. I can definitely give that away to our allies and hopefully they can put it to good use. And hopefully they haven't already got like 2,000 gold as it is. Oh, yellow's kicking off over here. I like that gold's useful for you. Not so useful for orange and not so useful for purple. Oh, more lumber is required. It's all about wood. Let's just focus the Archmage. Keep back a little bit. Because I want another tick on my uh, 
health regeneration before I go in properly. Nah, I'm not gonna get any wood. Okay. Oh yes I am. Here we go. Go for the Archmage now. As soon as he starts to run, be ready to storm hot. But don't use it beforehand. Now would be a good idea actually, because he's starting to focus me. Can't take this focus fire. Oh, it's close. With just my Mountain King, I'm scaring him off, so maybe that Parrot of Vitality is kicking ass quite hard there. Just need to have a bit more mana. Make this a lot easier. More lumber is required. Whoa, what am I doing here? Just sort of running past each other. Can't take him on because I just haven't got the health. Yes, Lord. I shouldn't have really built those griffin things. Oh wow, okay, I shouldn't have really built that all that many. I must have forgot that I actually too had two more coming up after the two I already aimed to build. Never mind. Eventually I'm gonna have enough wood to actually start pumping those out. Besides, I can just take peons off the mine for the moment. Let's get a bit more. Okay, this is a really lazy game from me, from me, rather. Kind of OCD in the sense that I like to get all my upgrades done before I actually start messing the units. Although that doesn't make much sense, especially when you need those units straight away, because what's the point of having the upgrades if you haven't actually got the units to use them with? But, assumably, I'm going to be able to get away with it. Huh. Way too much on the mine. Get myself up to the upkeep. Good idea to run away now. There's a Mountain King there. I'd be dead. I'm going to steal some Moon Wells now. See if uh, Orange notices. So much gold. <laughs> Six Griffin Averys. Oh dear, what am I doing? I could TP in there and defend that with just my hero if I can actually get him some proper health. Oh, no! Orange is using up his moon walls. No! Kind of deliberately not going out over here. Yes. Poor Blue. I'm playing so bad for him. Poor little bugger. Okay, I'm coming now. Oh, what? How did he make the other guy go away? He managed to handle him himself, I'm surprised. Okay, now I can start being retarded. Actually, no, I was playing very retarded beforehand. Now I'll be slightly less retarded because I'm actually going to build some units soon, but I'm still OCD enough to wait for those uh, farms to go up. Right, are we there yet? There we go. Oh my goodness. So bad. Pretty much going to end the game soon though. Because I mean, everyone's got their own units and that, but when I suddenly turn up with like 100 foods worth of griffins, that's pretty much going to straight up end the game. And I'm going to get the Mountain King to like level 6 in no time. I'm tempted to get the second hero to come with it, but I don't want it leeching. I suppose I can start building it, because he's not going to leech from too far away. Oh, what's that? Is my Mountain King going to annoy you? I think he might do. Am I going to get a bash? There's the bash. Ah. Oh, they got tanks. That's going to slightly hinder me, but not too heavily. I've got just about enough resources to go straight to 100, 100 food. I'll get back to base and then I'll TP. Oh, what are you doing? You're not going to do this to me, are you? Where you just stand in Blizzard and then have a go at the rest of your allies for basically not helping. Oh, you should have got back ages ago there. I should actually do something now. I don't even think I need to be there, but obviously I should. Oh, I've been a pretty bad ally so far, so it's, it's time for me to actually make myself useful. See if I can take out the Archmage. We're getting bolt on that. It's so dead. So dead. No TP for you. Just pull back your weak griffins. Keep an eye on this way. If you know that you're going to get hit by units, like air units or ground units, just pull back. Keep an eye on the tabs. 
if you notice that the units are still chasing your griffins, then focus again on your griffins and pull them back even further. But this is what you need to be watching. I'm not so much watching the actual screen, I'm watching the actual unit tag and how much health I got. <laughs> Good pink. I've been terrible. I've been. If I actually played properly, my allies would have had much easier time it just in general. But it's only because I've turned up and uh, insta gibbed everything. I'm going to keep on the Paladin as well with the Mount King, because I know that the Mount King is going to die. Are you going to use your shield? Oh, I've got level 3 bolt here, so that should do it, practically. Jeez. <laughs> really doesn't like my hack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my hack. My blatant hack. This is such easy mode. I've played like such an idiot this game. Yet yeah, I'm reaping in all the credit. 4v4 for you. There we go. I've basically got all my tech off. Griffins are like almost god mode at the moment. And I've got 100 100 feet. The mannequin is moving his way up to level 6. Oh, what's that? Do you want to get some tanks? Are those tanks going to tear apart my appearance, uh, griffins? Probably not. Here we go, a bit of focus fire on the tanks. I think I'm going to take you out before you take me out. As long as you keep the tanks in low numbers, they're not really a problem. Mass air beats tanks. I might go Sif and Mana actually, just so I can keep... If you use Sif and Mana on an allied hero, watch this, this might explain it better. Good man King here, he's got 240 mana. Sif and Mana, 330 on my Blood Mage. My Mountain King's mana goes up, my Blood Mage mana goes down. So that's how Sif and Mana works on allied units. A lot of people probably aren't aware of that, because it's just one of those things you don't really bother looking at properly. But uh, yeah, it's a bit weird, because if you're thinking, Oh, I'm going to sip a mana on my own hero. Why would I take away their mana? It doesn't work like that. It takes mana away from enemy heroes or units, and it gives to allied heroes or units. That's the simplest way to put it, which it is pretty straightforward when you think about it. Am I not going to get my level 6? I'm going to have to break away from everyone here and uh, see if I can get a couple of cheeky high-level hero kills. This is the easiest thing in the world to control, mass air with something like a mountain king. Because you just bolt in and basically instigate whatever's there. It's lovely to have and control. Gonna move on, because I'm not level 6 yet. That tower is going to get crushed. Oh, hello. You haven't got quite as many griffins as me. I'm going to stop his, uh, at all costs, keep his paladin from TPing away by focusing him. I could actually use to give him, but I want to get all the units. Oh, look, look, look. They've actually got some money here. I'm going to try and banish all of these hippos. It's kind of hard to target them, but I should be able to get them. And I've got my level 6. There we go. And I did manage to banish most of the hippos. And then I can end up banishing everything else. And then we can come over here. I wish I could uh, sip in some mana. I can't. Oh, he's level 6. Oh, I'm going to lose my blood mage. Pay attention to that. Where is he? Where are you? I can't move him. It's because he was blocked. Herpy dirt. Okay, this is it. Paladin is going to get insta gibbs. I think my banish, I mean, the level 3 bolt would be enough to kill him as it is. But I'm pretty sure my banish just about went off before my bolt hit him. More tanks. I think it's time to insta give her another <laughs> punch mage. Pull off with these griffins because I'm getting pretty weak now. I've been in the fight for too long. Preferably not take on the tanks with my griffins. Even if it is one, because I've got bugger all hell. I don't know, maybe I can take on that Griffin and the rest of the tanks. Just make sure you pull back the weakest Griffins. And you should be able to pull it off. Just about. Look, my gold is still very low, actually. After all of that. All those expansions. Although, someone must have killed that. No, they didn't. I just really didn't put any peasants back. And now I've got 3,700 wood. 
Because I really needed wood at one point. <laughs> Got a bit carried away with that, didn't I? Macro zoom. I kind of want him to get his hero out, but I think it's going to be a long time before it does come out. Just so I can instigate it. This is why a lot of the time people try to kill the altars. If it's a 1v1 game or something, you definitely don't want them to get the hero back. But 4v4, sometimes you want them to get the hero out because if he's definitely going to die straight away, he might have a TP, use it straight away, fair enough. He did drop the ball there, but it's a possibility he didn't have the TP and all that, or you managed to get him before he uses it, and you get a free hero kill. And it, the hero might be level 6 plus, and it's a whole ton of experience. And this little fella here can get his uh, metamorphosis ability, Mr. Illidan. Oh, hello. More hippos that are going to get banished. And you can also actually just banish the... Uh, if the griffin's axe about to die, but it's probably easier just to banish the actual enemy uh, hippos. And there are collateral damage. I've got a griffin there accidentally banished. Down you go. I don't think you're going to get your hero back in time. Time to start using these peons. Sky. Yellow's still having some fun. But I think he's the only one left. No, it's not even Yellow who's actually in the game, just controlling him. It's Red, who is long dead. Could do with some heals, so I'm actually going to stop off at the uh, Goblin Merchant, top up my Griffins. My ally is trying to provoke the enemy into leaving. I don't know if that's going to work. Probably not. It hasn't worked so far. Right. Map pack in here. What's this obsession with map pack? Although, to be fair, it sounds like me. Putting a scroll of healing on either hero because it puts the diminishing return on the your hero otherwise. If you have it two on the same hero. I don't know if that works if you buy one separately, use it and then buy another one. I guess I could have tested it, but it's too late now. We'll never know. Yes, me lord. Honestly, I attacked with like a level one mountain king over here, and that is classes map pack. That's just classes me being a dick. Do you see something? Ah, giant I'm coming through. Okay. Oh, look, the invisible mortars. I want to let him get away with it first before I go and kill everything. Let him have his fun. But watch this Archmage. Down he goes. We need to pull back a little bit with those griffins to get an idea of what's going on in the battlefield. One tank left. Nope. A couple more tanks left. Can't banish the tanks, but I can, of course, banish those griffins that are about to die. If you have a really weak one, you can banish it and it takes it out of the fight. The only thing that can obviously damage it is magic. So you have to make sure that the enemy haven't got a whole ton of magic units nearby. And uh, the Phoenix actually works quite nicely here with uh, the Mountain King and Banish strategy because he has a whopping 61 to 75 magic damage. And he attacks quite fast I believe. Yes. Wait till you see me in action. I'll do that. 
I mean, the game's over now, so you can feel free to go home. Though I assume you're already at home. Although a lot of you are actually watching this at work. Do some work, lazy gits. Uh, what to do? Nothing really apart from just finish off the last couple of buildings. Aragorn, what are you like? Are you trying to get another peasant away so you can build more buildings? Is that what you're trying to do? Spanish those peasants. Lols. Can he mine? Oh, you can stop peasants from mining if you banish them. That's pretty average. Not that you would normally do that. I suppose if you're in one of those weird games where it was actually uh, handy to do something like that, then fair enough. There we go. A few beastie hero kills there. I wasn't actually as high up on the uh, gold as I thought compared to other people. I suppose it's because I took a load off of wood. Look how much wood I got. And I obviously lost a lot of gold to upkeep because I went straight to 100 with Griffins as soon as I could. I got all the OCD stuff out of the way, like the upgrades and that, and then I just got enough gold. I mean, it looks like I'm newbie when I've got like 2,000 odd gold, but I kind of know mathematically that two follies of Griffins from, you know, six Griffin Averys is pretty much going to use up all that gold. So that's kind of why I save it all like that. That and the OCD. So thank you for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like, and comment.